Happy Super Bowl Sunday, everybody. I thought I would show you how to rasterize part of your image. And if you have words on it, you don't want to rasterize that. So let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about. So I've got this file here that I'm getting ready to put on a shirt. And I want to rasterize the owl, but I don't want to rasterize the words. So what I did was I just cropped each thing in Photoshop. So for example, I just pulled up here and I cropped my owl and hit OK. And then I exported it as a PNG file. And then I went back, uh, you know, by going over here, file export as PNG. And then I I'm going to undo the crop and then I'm going to crop again, but this time I'm just going to use the words. And then what we'll do is we'll put both of these images onto one sheet, but rasterize them separately in ProRip. So then I would export this one and then bring it into ProRip. So let's do that now. Let me undo that. And so now let's go into ProRip and pull them in. So uh, let's see, I've got my owl and let me bring in the words. Okay, so what's important is to make sure that you get your size right. So I'm gonna do the owl first and it is 8.27 wide. And now let's do our words, and those are also 8.27. And so we want to make sure over here that we've got our auto nest on. And what I found out is that you just kind of have to mess around with it a little bit until you get it where you want it to be. So I'm going to change the owl to 8 and the words to 8. And now they are nested on one page. So each of those I'm going to center, and I'm going to bring this one down whoops, a little bit. This one, let me center that one. And let me bring that owl down a little bit so I have a little bit of safe room. Okay, so now both of these are on one page. And now let's just go through um, getting this owl rasterized. So I'm on Uninet Standard 550. So I have a 550. This might look a little bit different if you have a different machine. So now I'm gonna get a color adjust. Uh, on the owl, I am going to increase my saturation and decrease my brightness. This is going on a white shirt. Um, I'll leave my choke medium, um, my coverage. I'll probably bring that down to maybe 185. And then I'm going to change my whole size to 205 because I don't have any partial transparency. And I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm just going to double click the owl and go over here to color layer, ink removal. Uh, I'm gonna try 28 and see how successful I am. And I'm gonna use 48.5 as my angle and I'm just gonna change it to round. I, I happen to like round. You can choose any shape you want. There's a bunch of different shapes, shapes here you can choose from. But I'm gonna go with round and I'm gonna hit okay. And then on my words, I'm going to go over here. And again, I just want to make sure that they're as black as possible. So I'm just going to make all of this all the way 100% dark. And then I'm going to bring my brightness down to 10. I'm going to reduce this to 185. I'm not rasterizing anything on the words, so I'm unchecking Enable Ink Removal. So then I'm going to hit OK. And now let's rip only. And it's going to rip them both at one time so we can see what they look like. And then let's view the raw data. And so you can see that the owl is rasterized and the words are not. So that's another way you can rasterize your image, but not your words or your fonts. So I hope that helped. I'll see you guys later.